Now let's have a look at what is the Manufacturing Planning and Control System. What is the MPC system? Well, we typically distinguish five levels of a Manufacturing Planning and Control System. The first four levels are related to planning and the fifth level is related to implementation and the plants are made from the top to the bottom meaning we start with a strategic business plan followed by the production plan followed by the master production schedule followed by the material requirements plan and then the implementation with production activity control and purchasing this is not only the sequence of the planning but what is more important, we make some decisions in the strategic business plan and these decisions build the framework for the production plan. Again, in the production plan, we follow the limits set by the strategic and business plan, come up with a production plan and this outcome limits our flexibility in the master production schedule and so on and so on. The first uh, steps are related to planning and the master plan is often referred to the first three steps. You find additional uh, explanations to this picture in the textbook of course. So in the Manufacturing Planning and Control System, these planning level, levels, the first four levels, differ in the purpose of the plan, uh, what is the job of the plan, what do we plan, what is the planning horizon. The planning horizon for the strategic plan is typically very long, while we have um, closer to the implementation maybe even daily plans, what do we do in the morning, what do we do in the evening. The level of detail varies, the strategic plan will be very generic, while the further down we go in the hierarchy, the more specific the plans get. And the planning cycle, uh, that means how often is a plan reviewed. So a monthly plan uh, might be reviewed um, every week to check if we are still on track to reach the monthly goals but the strategic plan has way longer review cycles uh, maybe once a year maybe every two years but do not forget on each of the planning levels there are three questions the same three questions that are answered by one of the plans. The first question is what are the priorities? How much of what is to be produced and when? Second, what is the available capacity? What resources do we have? Third, how can differences between priorities and capacities resolved? Uh, typically one and two are not in balance, though maybe our priority is way lower than our capacity, then what can we do to balance both? We can reduce the capacity, that means we save money, or we can adjust and increase our priorities to use our capacity to the best uh, level. Both are valid strategies and of course the answers to these questions depend very much on the different uh, plans that we want to want to make.